Hi there, Guy in Mommy's Basement again. Coming at you with another invention of mine. This one's for space propulsion and perpetual motion. It's a magnetic gear that when you put the magnet when you put the magnets on the gear right, you manipulate the magnetic field running through the universe and you can produce space propulsion or you can produce perpetual motion here let me explain how it works so to build your gear this right here is an exact this is the gear this is how you make the gear so you see all these slightly go down in size there's 16 of them okay and you're gonna put your north on the outside and your south on the inside okay and you're gonna set your magnets when you so my magnet needs to be as big as this circle so I make my sphere as big as this circle and then I place it right there with my north facing that way on all these and then you're gonna get a picture that looks like this. See, and that would be the finished gear. Now put all your Norse on the outside, okay? Now visualize the field coming off this. It's gonna make a perfect screw thread. The field's gonna be out here a little bit, but it's gonna be a perfect screw thread. That's very important. Now after we get that one built, we're gonna build two more. And then we're gonna put them on a 120, 240, 360 axis. Do you see that? So, you see that? So now, look at here. Now you got this one here, these Norse repelling this big North. But do you see the lift? It's producing a lift right there then this one is producing a lift to this one and then this one is producing a lift to this one so they're all three gonna want to lift at the same time well now you just spin them and when you spin them this is gonna create a lift so it's gonna want to come up well in outer space that'll move actually it'll move on microgravities it might move on earth it might lift off I don't know it has to be built but once you do that, see I got more of them, see, see, 120, 240, 360 access, that gives you the space, and then you hook your electric motors up, and you get them all on a 120, 240, 360 access, you get all your, everything all built up, and this is what you're looking at is the first prototype for a magnetic electric space propulsion. You will not see this anywhere else on the planet. I invented this. I didn't take this from anybody. This is mine. This is public. Nobody can patent this. I made it public. I sent it to presidents. I sent it to NASA. NASA said I had something. I sent it to the Pentagon. I've sent it all over the place. Nobody seems to care. So I guess, it, I know people on YouTube care. I care. Well, anyway, I 3D printed these gears, and you can see, when you spin them, see how that one's going to lift that one, this one's going to lift this one, and that one's going to lift that one. You see that? When you get them fields on there, right? So you get these spinning, you get these magnets on here just right, and get them spinning, and this is going to lift off. Well, the kicker is... Take off these, change these electric motors to electric generators. So instead of spinning them, you're just going to see what happens when you just put them close together. So when you put these close together, they're all going to want to spin off each other. You see that? They're all going to, all repelling. So what you have here is perpetual motion too. This will spin for a long, long, long time. See, magnets have a half-life of 100 years. So after 100 years, magnets lose 3% 
So they're 97% efficient after 100 years. So this would run for, say, 1,000 years. Well, I say that's close enough to perpetual motion because I'll be dead by the time this stops running. And the power it produces, I can use to build more petro pet perpetual motion machines, which would extend the life of the perpetual motion into the future indefinitely. So yes, you can have perpetual motion till the end of time because you can use the power from the first perpetual motion device to produce the second perpetual motion device. And the third, and the fourth, and the fifth, and you can keep building them. Well, this is the kicker. See this? See, I got two. I can just put these together. Now you got one big mess of them all spinning off each other. You see that? You can just get fields of these. You can just get fields of them going, and you'll have all kinds of perpetual motion. But as far as the space propulsion goes, it has to be tried. I don't know how fast. I just told NASA it'd go like a bat out of hell, and they agreed. So... I don't know, take it for what it's worth, but yeah, you got it for me, the guy in mommy's basement. First ever magnetic electric space propulsion and perpetual motion, all in one. And you can literally take this space propulsion here, hook up some perpetual motion over here, so hook this perpetual motion to the space propulsion and the perpetual motion will run the space propulsion. So don't ever let them tell you it's impossible, people. And this, uh, by the way, this proves the laws of physics. So I'm the first person on the planet to prove the laws of physics. I've proved it two different ways now. Through space propulsion and through perpetual motion. It's not technically perpetual motion. It's 99.9999 infinity. So you're tricking it. It's, uh, it's proving the laws of physics. Yes, it won't last forever, but it, it, does a tree make a noise if you're not in the woods? So does it last forever if you're dead and gone for a thousand years? Wouldn't you consider that like a, a good thing that it, it runs for a thousand years producing free energy? and can go through space at the speed of light or however fast you want to get it to going. So, yeah, that's all you need to do is build this and hook. See, I got on here a micro-nuclear reactor, which is uh, 10,000 kilowatts, or 10,000 watts of power, 10 kilowatts of power a micro-nuclear reactor will produce. Russia uses them in satellites in outer space. This, I predict, would need 50 to 100 watts of power to run. Micronuclear reactor gives you 10,000 watts. I need 100 watts. So yes, this can do deep space travel with a battery or a micronuclear reactor or whatever. Or solar panels. You could hook solar panels up to it, but you're not going to get too far in space with solar panels because the sun ain't always there. So there it is, people. You heard it here first. Guy in mommy's basement. I seem to figure everything out. Yeah, don't rely on NASA. Don't rely on scientists because they're all going to lie to you. This is legit. If they say it's impossible, you just show them this video. Okay, I'm out.